All right, now that I have you in the chair, I want to uh, turn to a study. It's getting a lot of attention today, doctor. On Tuesday, the FDA approved the use of the well, so-called party drug, MDMA, also known as ecstasy, in late-stage trials as treatment for post-traumatic stress disorder. Uh, what could this mean uh, exactly as we look at uh, benefits of ecstasy for PTSD patients? So it's pretty amazing, right, is that in the 1970s, ecstasy was synthesized, and it was a party drug. And then it was made illegal, like, you know, regulated by the DEA and the FDA. And then uh, trials now have shown that people with long-term PTSD, so these are people who've had it for more than 15 years, and nothing would work against them. Almost two-thirds of them, when they went on uh, initial trials with MDMA or ecstasy, had a dramatic benefit, and they were no longer classified as PTSD. So based on that, a phase three trial, which is the last stage before approval, will be done to see if we can actually use this to treat patients. And so it's a 40-year evolution from party drug to potentially lifesaver. There seems always to be side effects, obviously concerns uh, about uh, the use of any drug. What concerns uh, physicians here? Well, the concern is abuse, right? The concern is, you know, we have lots of narcotics we use for pain, but they're being abused for other things and causing major societal implications. So if this drug becomes more available, it's on the market, so any doc can write a prescription. Remember, once a drug's approved, you can write a prescription for anything. So it clearly works, or there's some data in this area, PTSD. We don't know what it does in others. It affects the chemistry in the brain. So if you take it on a regular basis, there are some major negative effects that have been seen. And so we need to do it right where the data are. Any sense of how likely it is then to be approved? It's hard to be a betting person, but the phase two data looked pretty dramatic. So when you see dramatic phase two data in general, that carries through to the later stage studies. And so my gut is this will be on the market in probably three to four years. Wow, I, again, when you talk about long-term long PTSD suffering, uh, there are a few things uh, worse, and certainly uh, those who suffer it are in need of help. Dr. David Agus, as always. Thank you. We appreciate the insight.